just wrapped up a rectal prolapse reduction. It went really good. Hillary nailed her epidural like first shot. It was amazing. I didn't record any of it because I recorded it on Snapchat. So see Snapchat for details. Perfect epidural. Good job. Rectal prolapse in. How'd I do, Hill? Epidural was epic. Uh, now we have some postmortems to do. So we have Amelia with us today. Amelia is a veterinarian from Romania. So she just wanted to spend some time with a real life Canadian cattle veterinarian. How's things going, Amelia? Good. <laughs> Good. We're gonna do a full postmortem today. <laughs> First step, physical exam outside looking for swelling. Up everything. Let's take a look at that synovial fluid. So it's a little, a little bit dark, but I don't see any flex of fibrin. So that's it. First up, this animal, this is his lungs. Here you can see a ton of micro abscessations. Abscess, abscess, abscess. All those little tiny things are abscesses. That is mycoplasma pneumonia. Had ascites, so fluid in the abdomen, uh, a little bit of edema, enlarged heart, and this was his liver on cut cross section. A reticular pattern, secondary to congestive heart failure. Okay, next one, free gas bloat. So free gas bloat, cranial congestion, rapid autolysis, hind end, edema, and pallor. Free gas bloat. Ooh, I forgot to show the picture. Hillary, look. This is dilated duodenum. Yeah. And then the omentum kind of solidified, so it like kept it dilated. And then if you look right here, that's the pylorus. Oh. And Hillary had a septic arthritis of the left carpus. Good job, guys. Okay, all finished in the PM pit. We have uh, two surgeries to do, both room and fistulas, and I think that's it for the day. Girls did a great job. Really good, solid Hillary. She's kind of lippy, but she's turning out real good. And down one more. How much have you injected? Yes. It's one scrub. No, we're gonna do it properly. <laughs> no, that's not proper. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> and I'm right here too. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'm watching you. <laughs> Conception. I just had the perfect piece of content 
we got into an argument about the the, uh, the difference between organic and conventional and she was convinced that it was more healthy and that GMOs modify your body and modify your digestion and that there's more pesticides and more nitrates and because organic they can only use manure and they can't use pesticides and that the DNA is bad and I oh it was perfect and I lost it all my only arguments were simple it's basic digestion when you eat something that has a, a modified gene in it all you do is you break it down into its simple components a GMO gene is no different than any other DNA that you eat and you break it down into its simplest components the nucleic acids and then you absorb those so the sequence the sequence doesn't matter at all what you eat you break it down it's just like a protein you break proteins down into amino acids it's like carbohydrates you break carbohydrates down into simple sugars same with DNA you just break it down Ugh. This is exhausting. I wish I had that. Okay. Oh yeah, while we're at it, there's never been a single study, not a single scientific, real scientific study that has proven that organic produce, meat, vegetables is healthier than conventional, than regular agriculture. Never, once, not a single study proving that it's healthier. It's the same. It's the food. It's nutrition. It doesn't matter. <sighs>